At a campaign rally in Iowa October 7 former President Donald Trump said, the Israeli attack was made because we are perceived as being weak and ineffective. Gunmen from the Palestinian group Hamas rampaged through Israeli towns on Saturday, killing more than 200 people and escaping with hostages in by far the deadliest day of violence in Israel since the Yom Kippur War 50 years ago, more than 230 Gazans were also killed when Israel responded with one of its most devastating days of retaliatory strikes. I believe that too. I believe that this will be the most important election of our lives because uh, this country is headed in a horrible, horrible direction. You so what took place today in Israel, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but uh, this country is just headed so badly. Uh, the Israeli attack was made because we are perceived as being weak and ineffective and with a, le a really weak leader, and we will discuss it in a few minutes. But isn't that a shame what's happening all over the world? Things are not what they were just three years ago. You take a look. They weren't. They weren't uh, ever as good, and now they are really probably maybe the worst we've ever seen in terms of our country. When you look at the Hamas terrorist invasion of Israel territory, Israeli territory, and the murder of Israeli soldiers today, and uh, the brutal murder of citizens is an act of savagery that must and will be crushed, has to be, it has to be dealt with very powerfully. This is a time where the United States needs leadership. We don't have leadership. But Israel is at war, and the United States obviously is going to stick with Israel, and strongly. The war happened for two reasons. The United States is giving and gave to Iran six billion dollars, six billion, over, over hostages, over hostages. And, uh, you know, there was a very good trade. They got five hostages. We got five hostages. Okay, that's the good news. The bad news is, and their hostages were tough, by the way, I have to tell you. That was, okay. Let's assume they're doing just fine. But it was five for five. But in addition to that, we agreed to free up six billion dollars. And uh, that is a absolute disaster. And I would not be at all surprised if part of that tremendous wealth that they just accumulated went into all of a sudden watching this level of aggression. They didn't have that level of aggression with me. They didn't have it. This would have never happened with me either. You know what wouldn't have happened? Ukraine wouldn't have happened. Taiwan and all this tough talk with Taiwan wouldn't have happened. And what's going on with Israel right now? People were shocked. I wasn't shocked because two weeks ago we gave them $6 billion. God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.